Hello everybody, I'm Cody Gosling with Gosling Farms. Today we're going to talk about breeding a sow or gilt. Uh, a few things you need to know firsthand is that a, a sow or gilt will come in to puberty uh, at the uh, age of five to seven months. She, every 20 days she'll come into heat on average. It depends, it could be, it depends on your breed. It could be uh, 19, 20, or 21. What everyone suggests uh, to do is let her run through her first cycle. That way, um, you'll know her cycle. You'll know how long she, when she comes in, and how long she stays in. How long she stays in. Normally, they run from two to three days, depending on also depending on the animal. Once you uh, figure out what she runs, that way you can go ahead and AI her. Uh, pigs, they uh, like to, the pigs come in uh, ovulate. Uh, mid estrus, so you need to breed her in the middle of her heat cycle, uh, which is two to uh, three days. As you can tell, she is in heat. She's messing with me. Um, you can tell uh, her her ball will be swollen. She'll have some discharge going on, <clears throat> and uh, she likes to follow me, and she's aggressive too. Before we get started, we're going to go ahead and. Uh, Go over the tools we need. Then run over here. Two types. You got the one that looks like a penis of the boar, corkscrewed. And you got another one that has foam on the end of it. This one's good for beginners. But I like to use the period because you get better reception rate. Also, you need some glue. It's kind of cold out today, but luckily we don't have any sun, so we don't have to worry about the, the uh, sun exposure. But semen can be killed with sunlight, so you want to keep it out of sunlight. But since it's a little cold today, I have raw here my my coat here warming up. We don't want to have the, the, the semen get into cold shock and die, so we want to keep it warm. Um, so that's ready. I don't need and I don't have any boar spray, but we don't need to go ahead and use boar spray. to take she's not gonna go anywhere she'll sit there for you until you're done as you can tell my cameraman will come up here how she's discharging she's got a little discharge going on what we want to do is we want to go ahead and clean off the vulva and get it get it set all right <clears throat> now when we uh, AI go ahead and take the rod out here Grab the, uh, the lube here. We're going to go ahead and put the lube on the outside. You can e either use lube or, or semen. Or semen. Yes. And I was lucky enough to have my friend Brad England from England Farms give me the sperm. Uh, Alright, now when you do this, you want to go in a 45 degree angle up. That way you do not get into her urethra. Alright, we'll go in. Keep on going. You're gonna feel a little bit of a, a stopping point. And it's right there. Kind of goes a little bit more. Uh, we're into the cervix now. Uh, pigs are bred naturally and artificially in the cervix. All right, we're there. All right. Now once we're there, we'll take our semen, pop the top, wrong top. Break it open. We'll go ahead and put her in. Apply pressure. Now, nine times out of ten, she'll kind of do a vacuum and she'll just suck it up herself. But every once in a while, you gotta kind of help it get started. Every once in 
once in a while you want to kick her on her side a little bit. That's an imitation of the boar. You know, fly a little weight, move around a little bit. This one here, she's not really wanting to vacuum it, so I'm going to have to push a little bit and get it going. You don't want to force it because you don't want it to come back out the out the other out the vagina. So you just kind of do a slow pressure on it. This could take a while, but she's gonna sit there for you. This semen is from a Landrace Yorkshire cross called Bistro. We got them from SGI out of Iowa. Um, we bred uh, one of his mothers is one of our own homegrown, uh, which the mother would come from Cedar Ridge Genetics out of Red Bud, Illinois. same step in the morning because you want to breed on it you want to breed miniatures like I said earlier at a uh, 24 or 36 24 and 36 hours so I like to breed on the 24th hour in the afternoon and then on the 36 hour I like to do the morning and then she will be we're hoping bread and of course put it on a calendar she comes in every 21 days so we'll put it on the calendar when she's supposed to come back in keep an eye on her and see if she took. Seems all in there. What I'll do is I'll just cap it off and I'll leave it in there for just a little bit. I usually use a zip tie, so I don't have one. Um, if you have any questions about the process of doing it, you can get a hold of me at my Facebook page, Gosmic Farms. 
I'll be happy to answer any questions you have. And uh, thank you.